we get into this, oh my gosh. Okay, before we get into this video, um, disclaimers. <laughs> so firstly, you can pause whenever you'd like during the video. I go really fast because I have a lot of pictures, trust me. And so, yeah, pause whenever you'd like. Secondly, my voice is super croaky, croakier than usual. It's usually croaky, but it's really bad right now because I'm getting sick. So like, uh, like you hear that. So I sound kind of like a frog during this video, but it's okay. It's fine. I hope you all enjoy. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, it's Adelaide Winterstep and welcome to today's video. Today's video is obviously another video because I literally just posted this morning, but I'm wanting to do this for a while and I'm thinking that if I want to do videos like of this style that doesn't actually include like actual search table gameplay, but instead shows you what's going on behind the scenes, um, I think I'll do it on the same day that I post an actually good video. So that's what y'all get. So today is kind of a tour of all of my pictures. Um, I'm a picture guru. I take so many pictures on Star Stable. Every time I log on, I take at least 20 pictures. Um, and I don't log on that much, but when I do get log on, I take a lot of pictures and I love taking them. It's just so fun to have all those memories. And I just take random pictures of random things too for my magazine, because I do have a Eurific H magazine, um, so that I can use it in case I need to make an article. So let's get into it. So my entire computer is practically devoted to Star Stable Online, thus practically all my pictures are Star Stable pictures. I will not be showing you the downloads and stuff because that's just my thumbnails that I use. Um, instead, I'll just be showing you the pictures. So this is where I have all of my Star Stable pictures all organized. You may have noticed that I have like a bajillion different folders. Everything is specific and some pictures fall under multiple folders. I'll just put them into one. I don't really care how organized it is. I just kind of want it generally separated. So let's start with our dressage folder and we're gonna put that into full screen. Okay, so these start from the oldest and comes the most recent. And the dressage ones, dressage ones are specifically in dressage gear. So I have a lot with Margo and my Frisian. Um, and you might have seen these pictures already. They're most likely on my website. So you can check that out if you are looking. Um, but yeah, so the majority of these are just like Piaf and basic dressage moves. With my old hairstyle, here's one with Berkeley, which is actually really, really cute. And yeah, more with Margot. I think these were Kensington pictures. But you can definitely tell my style is generally similar. So those are all my dressage ones. My dressage ones aren't very exciting. Let me be honest with you. I don't take a lot of dressage pictures just because they all look the same. So flat work pictures. We have a lot of these. I think, how many do we have in this? 150 items in this one folder. Let's start off with the oldest. These, oh, that's really, really bad picture. But um, <laughs> I just have like basic ones that I took so long ago. I used to take really simple pictures. This one's iconic. This one's my favorite. Um, this photo shoot, I always love doing this Arabian horse because he has the coolest coloring called Echo in game. Uh, we have some sail horse pictures, some things, pictures, some of these I take just for edits because I actually do make edits, surprisingly enough. Um, but yeah. Pretty general, um, and as you go, you'll see the more specifically flat work because some of them are pictures of the horse's heads and I didn't have like a folder set up for it yet. But yeah, you can see all the gear that we wear. We wear a wide range of gear, really, really cute. And some of these are with different hairstyles. So it's kind of cool to go through the timeline and see all these. But I have a lot with Crescent and Dawn. Wow, there are so many pictures. I didn't realize I had this many pictures, but some of these are really cool. And after a while of just taking these pictures, you realize what poses look best with each different type of horse. And so that's definitely what I've been working on. Some of these are lesson pictures. This one I didn't yet have a lesson folder. So I just put all my lesson pictures in here. This is with Emmy Diamond Yard. She is so cool. And took some pictures there. This was of my cross country session. And some of these pictures are from cross-country sessions as well, but that's only if they're not actually jumping because most of my cross-country and shit jumping pictures are when they're actually jumping. And that's when I put them in the show jumping or cross-country folder. So lots of rambling. But um, yeah, so we have a bunch. And I also like to use this for, for like outfit inspiration. That's Emmy, by the way. Because it's just really fun to look back at outfits of which look cutest with which horse color. And there are just so many things to consider when making an outfit. Honestly, a lot of my videos revolve around if I have a cute outfit. Like, if I make a cute outfit that day, I'm like, oh, I have to make a video with this cute outfit. So I do, and uh, it works. And yeah, I think this, oh, that's actually a really cute picture. Um, I have a lot of my students 
horse picture writing. I have a lot of that. I also have a separate folder for that, but I just put them in here for some reason, so that works. But you can see all of those so much, and that's it. Oh, wait, no, it isn't. Oh, wait, we have our most recent ones. These are with Violet and stuff. And by the way, guys, you can pause at any time to look at a certain picture a little more, so that works. Now for the free horses. Um, so these are all the horses that are just like free out in a pasture. Back to the old ones. My old editing was just kind of like out of whack, but these are some cute pictures I take. I take a lot of free horse pictures just because it's kind of fun. It doesn't really ever fit in any of my video thumbnails, but they look nice, so I kind of just use them. And yeah, um, I have like multiples of some of these as well. But yeah, they all look pretty cool. And some of them are actually pictures of just the horses that are generated in Star Stable. But I don't have as many in this as I do the others. Now, I do love this horse because of her face. It's, her name is Jade. And she has an adorable face. Like, do you see that marking? It looks so realistic. It looks like a painting. So I take a bunch of face pictures of some of my Connemaras because they have really cool face markings. And yeah, it's pretty simplistic. <laughs> we have some silly ones in here too, but we have a separate folder for silly, silly pictures and glitches. This wasn't even my horse. Like newsflash, it wasn't even my horse. I just took a picture of a stranger's horse. And some pastor pictures with Violet, his little friends. And just a random picture of another horse. <laughs> okay, back to pictures. Horsey faces. I literally just started this one. I don't know why. I don't have that many pictures, but... Some of these are kind of cute. Just horse faces. Like that one I love. It's not even me. That's, um, who is that? Oh, it's Emily Fire Valley, I think. Yeah. With her horse, Blueberry or something. But I just have a lot of horse pictures. My Connemara's, when they do this face, I just love it. So I always take pictures of it. And Margo is very photogenic. So we take a lot of pictures of her too, because why not? Um, so cute. Wow, we've got a lot. Okay. This was my most recent one. I love this one. I'm going to end up cropping it. Half of these aren't cropped correctly just because I don't have time to crop them. But I'm going to end up cropping it and taking a picture and maybe making that my avatar because that is so cute. Um, the pictures. Items. Oh my gosh. I have 120 items in this item thing. I'm going to flip through these real quick. I take pictures of items because I, I just do. And I have pictures of items for my magazine. I have them for thumbnails or posts. And I have them for like aesthetic. I don't know why I have them. If I'm honest with you, I don't know. But some of these you'll see my character in them because that's what I used. This was when I got really cute hair and that looks really cute. But um, I pictured a people and horse means. I have practically every and any item that you see in Star Stable Online. I even have a picture of a boat for goodness sakes. I have pictures of the puppies, um, the foxes. I took a lot of pictures of Ms. Fall because they had a lot of really cute updated items. So I obviously took a bunch there. And some weeks I'll just go to a place and take as many pictures as I can of everything. Like, that's a cute picture. Let me be honest with you. And I go to the mall and take pictures. Like, look at this. This is... I just love when it's focused on the item. It looks so professional. Now this. Okay. <laughs> Work with me here. So for my magazine, I wanted to do an arena footing article. And I look at this and it looks like that professional, like, rubberish arena footing that you see in, like, every United Kingdom horse arena. Sorry, that's really random, but that's just what I've been thinking. So, um, I, I would just, like, crop it out just to get the black of that flooring. Then we have pictures from South Hoof when I took them. Lots and lots of pictures. Some of these are really good pictures. They look like they're edited, but they're not even edited. They're just pictures. So, it's pretty impressive. Um... And so, yeah, you know, I, I just love taking pictures of items for some reason. It's a hobby of mine. This is a picture of a plane. Like, that's how random I get. But, yeah, so that's that's that. That's the items. Oh, my gosh. Um, Lessons. <laughs> I only have three in here because for some reason I just can't remember to put items in this folder. Instead, I just put it into team or people folder because I just don't remember that I have a lessons folder. So we have a lot of on the ground, 94. Um, I take a lot of on the ground because they just look so cute. I mean, some of these I could just, wow. I took so many of this photo shoot. This picture got like 600 likes on Instagram. So you all love whenever I do pictures like this with Marco. This is an iconic picture. You may know this picture. This was everywhere when I got Marco. And yeah, um, some of these I've never even shown you guys before. But they're still like absolutely gorgeous. So I don't know why I haven't shown you. 
Um, but I do play around with a lot of angles and poses. Like this one was so cute. I still love that photo. And yeah, I don't know why I haven't posted that one. That one's cute. But the difficult thing is finding a reason to post these pictures. Like I just don't have reasons to post them at times. Like where do you post them? Because I have a theme to my Instagram and I can't just post every picture I like. Keep in mind that you guys, you can pause if you want to look at something deeper, but this is really, really fast, really fast. So you can just pause at one and I'll pause at my favorite ones usually, but like this is cute. Like some of these are just adorable. Like the colors all match. Okay, that's that one. <laughs> Next. Wow, we're not even halfway through. I'm sorry you have to look at all these, but there are so many. This was, um, I don't know what folder this is. This one just has Emmy Diamond Yard doing her lesson. It was a really cute outfit, though, so I'm kind of glad I have a separate folder for it. Oh, that was the other writer's folder. Yeah, I, I, I forgot to use that one, too. Out hacking, this is for, like, trail rides, and they look so cute. I always do really fun outfits for trail rides where I'm matching, so you'll see some of that fun stuff. Um, yeah, I don't have many in there. I don't go on many trail rides. Personally, I'm not much of a trail ride person, but if I do have trail rides, I try to match. Places. I have 82 places, and all of these are places, pictures that I've taken. This one, I don't know what happened. Literally explain this to me. I think I was like editing it or something, then I figured out a way to Photoshop, and then it just deleted, and I was like, what? But yeah, so I have pictures of everything and anything, every place. You guys have all seen all these pictures. These are on my website and stuff, so that's why we're flipping through them so fast. Really general, like, pastor pictures and... I'll try to slow down for you. I'm sorry, I get really excited. And all of these, so yeah. We have a lot of Mistful for some reason. I guess it's just magical place. Um, Some of these are really cute, like that one's really cute. Some of these, I don't know why I don't use them more. Yeah. Wow, we have a lot. You know, you never realize how many pictures you have until you go through it and you're like, oh my gosh. We don't have many in the pretty rides. Because I'm a realistic role player, I don't just go out and take fun photo, sh photo shoots because that's not really what many real riders do. They take practical riding photos. So these are my only like color coordinated, like kind of pretty rides. But even then, a lot of these are based off of, I don't know why why this is not focused. I'm, yeah. No. Um, We have a lot of pretty ones. Like this one was really pretty. That one's kind of cool, honestly. And I have a lot of trail ride ones in here. This one is so fun. I literally matched that entire outfit. That was skill. I did that one recently, actually. <sighs> sail horses. Now, if you check out the Silver Glade Equestrian Instagram, we have sail horse videos and pictures. So check that out. I don't post on there much anymore. Like, if I'm honest, I haven't posted in weeks on there. So sorry about that. Show jumping one is 67. Um, these are all the horses jumping. Someday I'll make a video on how to jump, how to make your horse jump low over a jump because there is a way to do it without glitching or hacking. Instead, you just do the photo mode in a certain way and it actually makes your horse jump lower. It's really, really weird, but I'll show it to you guys sometime. It's very simplistic. You just press O or whatever hotkey is for photo mode for you. Then um, you do that right as you press spacebar to jump. Then you press O again to where your horse is not in photo mode anymore. Then you press it again really fast. And it makes it to where your horse is like as if he's stopping. And it makes him jump lower. So it makes it really great for those of you who do jumping photos. It allows me to jump jumps like this that are lower and still make it look realistic. Um, so that's, that's a tip for all of you all. If you didn't already know, that's how I get these slow jumping photos. Oh my gosh, we have so many. Ah! I should do a hunter over fences um, video sometime. I think that would be really, really fun. Wow, okay, that's a cute photo. I took these this morning. Nice thing about photo mode is that it doesn't have a time that you have to do it specifically. It can be nighttime and you can still do photo mode just because you can change the time set. So that's, that's helpful. Sponsored is just for like gear that I can use to make sponsored photos, sponsored photos. So I don't, really know how to um explain that but yeah like some of these are edited like you see this here look at that skill so you can see all this my sibling is singing in the background sorry about that um stickers so i do do photoshopping sometimes for my horses so i just take random photos of random stuff that's not really good confirmation place is it's wild <laughs> 
Tada, I'm doing a video, so unless you want your singing to be in the video. Okay. Okay, I'm just filming for like 10 more minutes. Okay. So this is the confirmation place photos. These are all my confirmation photos. I love confirmation photos. This is by far my favorite folder. You'll notice that there are doubles of a lot of photos. Oh, that's a cute edit actually. <laughs> Um, there are doubles of a lot of photos because I have to crop them and then I save both the uncropped and the cropped. But look at all of these, they're so pretty. I spent so long figuring out the perfect confirmation photos and how to take photos like this to where the reins are stretched and it looks perfect to where it's like a real confirmation photo. Again, I might do like a photography video for all of you, how to do star stable online realistic photos. And that was a failed edit. I actually feel really bad for that, that was horrible. But um... It just, it's just so fun to try to take realistic photos and it's a whole nother skill set. You really have to know every single horse breed's actions and when they do their actions and the way they look when they do those actions and photos so that you can get the perfect photo. Some of these are uncropped, so that's why you may notice my characters in them. Typically, I would have them cropped. Some of these are pictures of my borders horses, so that's why they're all these. This is by far my favorite confirmation photo. I can't get over this horse, oh my gosh. But I'll flip through those real fast. Those are all on our website and you guys can see all of those. Um, but yeah, they look super cool. I don't, this one's so cute. I can't get over it, it's so cute. And trot up photos for Kensington are in here. So many confirmation photos. I literally, yeah, but I have these all on my website. So that's why I'm skipping through them. This is gorgeous. This horse is so pretty. I can't get over the paint track in her, track in her, track in her? I don't know. Um, but gorgeous, gorgeous horse. Literally fantastic. And yeah. These are recent ones. I love doing photos like this because there's so many photos I want to show you guys that you guys haven't seen. So like this photo, I would have it cropped. And this photo was so cute. This photo was so cute. I need to have this cropped. I took this all recently. But yeah, that's confirmation photos. Ooh, we are now a little more than halfway through. The friends, so in the friends are um, my friends that I get to meet online or you guys that I get to meet online that I take pictures with. Yes, I do keep a lot of our photos. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It depends on if I have time. But I just take pictures with all of you guys. That's Emmy, so I know her. But a lot of you just came up to me and asked for photos. So I'm like, sure, like why not? Like some of us look adorable. Like these are actually great photos. And um so many photos with friends and fans and team members. I don't like calling you guys fans though because that's an excessive word. But yeah, look at that. You all are so fun online. It's insane. Okay. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> Glitches. Oh, I love this. I don't have many, but they're pretty great. Um, This is, I was like running and then I accidentally pressed photo mode and I was running into Emmy's horse. So it looks great. It really does. This is just my Welsh pony's head and he has like a smirk. It, I just love it. It's great. This is all of our team members on the trailer at once. This was me sitting with all my fr friends and stuff just sitting on a bench and all of us doing, <laughs> we were having a meeting under horses so it got a little excitable but yeah it's great. Pictures. <laughs> Misbehaving. This one are of like bucking horses, rearing horses, Stuff like that. I don't know why I have a separate folder for this. I really don't. I just, I just do. And so it looks good. But keep in mind, the Connemara's rare is by far one of the best rares. It looks so good from this angle. So shout out to the Connemara's. Okay, four more, four more. <laughs> the people. Oh my gosh. You can see all these on my website. These are people in Star Stable. These can be NPC characters. These can be me. Um... A lot of friends and family and stuff like that. Just people. My writing instructor's pictures. And yeah, just, yeah. It's just so random. I literally don't know. The team. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. I love these. So this is when the team first started and I got online and added the first like two people to the team. Like Leo, Leah and Emmy. And then it grew a little bit. And it grew a little more. And it grew to a lot. <laughs> We had a public clinic event, which was super fun. And it grew to just pretty huge numbers. Like, 
our lessons, when we would call a lesson, we'd have like three people and then like 10 minutes later, the rest of our team members would join and we'd have like all these team members in it. So this is actually my um, lock screen photo on like all of my devices because it's so fun. And oh my gosh, these are such, such fun pictures of the team. You guys are so cool. Look at this line. We all did cross country. And it's just so fun to take these pictures. Look at this. I can't even believe that I was able to make like a good team. It has me shook. And then that was when we took like gala photos and then me with um, Victor, I think. Yeah. And we took just photos with our matching halflingers, kind of. So. Western. Um, I don't really ride Western much in game, which is surprising considering the fact that what I did ride in real life when I used to ride was Western. So I don't know why I don't do more pictures like this, but. I just don't ride Western because Star Stable has okay gear for it, but I just can't find the right horse. Why is this picture in Western? That should be in team. Okay. Anyways, that's that's a fun team picture. <laughs> um, last one. Cross Country has 50 items in it. I love cross country pictures. They're just so fun to take. I can't get over it. Look at all those fun pictures. Um, yeah, I just take too many pictures when I do cross country rides. They all look the same after a while, so that's kind of sad. <sighs> because I would love to take newer looking pictures, but I mean, it's okay. This is iconic pictures. Some of these pictures are really gorgeous. Some of these I'll go slower on because yes, they are iconic and we love them. That one's really cute, actually. This one was a video I still have the footage for, so I could edit it for you all. It was just a cross country ride with Goldie and the team. Um, yeah. Wow. And that doesn't even get me started on the backgrounds, the camera roll, the edits. We do have some edits. Oh my gosh, I'm ashamed to show you these edits. They're so bad. That was me holding a helmet. That's Violet. These are so incredibly bad. This photoshopping skill, I moved the leg like an inch. That's, no, we are not. That was failed. I literally have failed every edit I've done. I can't edit. I can't. That was kind of funny, I, I, I do admit. This was an edit where I moved the leg like million segments and you don't notice it at first and you look and you're like, wow, that is horrific. And it is. This one was kind of not horrible, but my character's face was blurred because I used the, the focusing thing on photo mode. So yeah, we have, you know, logos, like a bajillion logos that we've made. We have clinic pamphlets that are fake, just fun, just such a good time. Um, we have stickers and all the pictures, obviously, and then downloads are a mixture of random dog photos and thumbnails and team photos. So I hope every single one of you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you all next time. Yes, this was incredibly exciting. I know, I know. Um, but I just don't, I, yeah, I just felt like making it because I have so many photos I wanted to show you all. So remember to comment, like, and subscribe and see you all next time. Bye.